This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Bo. We're working on the the subtleties of her lateral work, such as the shoulder in, of keeping Bo in the right balance. So to do that, we're going from a trot into a six-meter circle. We're not asking him to stay as engaged as he could be because first we have to get the feeling. Good. Do a six-meter circle at the trot. Keep his haunches in so he wraps around your right leg. Keep him on the right hind. Good, keep him on the right hind. Then go into a couple steps of leg you or shoulder in. As soon as he loses it, you're going to start another six meter circle. Just start the curve and then go straight when you feel he's right. As soon as you feel him drop you, put him into a six, start a six meter circle. That's it, start a six meter circle. As soon as you feel him right, go straight and a shoulder in. Good, and as soon as he drops it, good, good. You go back into one part of a curve for a six meter circle into a shoulder in. Yes, see how you're starting to get a different feeling under you? Okay, now as soon as he loses it, you just start those first few steps again. That's it, and we're not asking him to stay as active as he needs to be, but first we want to get the feeling. That's him throwing his haunches in. So start that six meter circle. You might have to do it every two steps. And it might be two steps, six meter circle, it might be one step, only you'll really know. Good. Good, Susan. Good, Susan. That's it. Good. And at first, you know it's a change of balance, so he doesn't really know what to do with it. Good. Yep, keep him on that inside hind. Good, you can do it either direction now and just feel where he is. Good. That's it. Good, yep, yep, keep him on the inside hind. Do you feel always starting to carry you different? Good, good. Yep, and when he loses it, just start it, you know, get the feeling of doing one or two steps of the shoulder, in, uh, bringing the haunch shoulder in like a six meter circle. Yes, good, good. Praise him. Good. Yes, good, good. That's it. And he's going to do funny things with his head at first. Good. That's it. That's it. Good, good. Good. That's it. And at first, like you notice, he's going to pull on his head a little bit, so you get him to step up into it. Now, if he'll let you, he's still wondering what happened in his change of balance. Good. So we've been working on uh, improving the shoulder in. Yes, it is, but right now you're just working on the focus of keeping him where he needs to be positioned. So his head's going to do a lot of weird things. You can pick it up, but it's going to be enough now just to keep the feeling of that six-meter circle. It's a lot to think about, isn't it? So if he drops his head a little low right now, we're going to forgive that, or you can pick it up if you want. You just want to feel the main thing is you feeling under the saddle when he's in the right place. Good. Praise him. Yep. That's it. Now, if you want to work on the head positioning, that's where he's not active from behind. But, you know, this is such a big change for him just to keep in the right bend position, for lack of a better word, because that's what they call it, where he's wrapped around your right leg or your inside leg. Good. Get him to stretch down and in. That's it. Good. And praise him. Good boy. Good, good, good. 